Wendy has helped over 5,000 uh, women CEOs, of course, uh, my pleasure, in corporate organizations culturally immerse and take their businesses global while creating international business strategies and meaningful connections worldwide. Thank you again for joining us. So let's just jump right in. As a global ambassador and entrepreneur, tell us how you first embarked on this international journey and what gave you the guts to do it? Actually, my husband started doing some work overseas in Iraq and I said, well, we can, I'm not going to Iraq to see you. So we're going to have to figure this out. And he invited me to Dubai. Um, it's been over maybe 17, 18 years ago now. And I went over there, fell in love with Dubai. And I looked up at my husband who was six, seven and I'm five, four. And I said, I'm going to have a business in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. He said, well, that's going to be a hard challenge because you're a woman. And I said, no, I'm going to do it. And I did it. I love how you gave us that little background info on how tall your husband is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sis. <laughs> so, um, okay, now I gotta get I gotta get my uh, anchor hat back on. Okay, you threw me off there. So, uh, Wendy, actor and comedian Amanda Seals, she recently discussed the importance of Black people expanding their footprint around the world. She mentioned this on social media. What advice would you give to other women, women trying to do exactly what you did? I would say to really honestly just just embrace the culture, um, really understand and study the culture. I see a lot of women who make mistakes and just want to jump and do business globally without understanding um, the background of culture, how they actually do business is very different than how we do business. But one thing I can say is there's always open arms once you actually learn to embrace and study the culture. So why was it so important for you, um, and better yet, for minority women to collaborate and expand outside of the U.S. and make their business global? You make it sound so easy. I would be, uh... It's definitely not easy, but I can definitely say it's doable. But I think um, for me, I did it by myself. I was on this journey and I learned, you know, the hard way. And so now that I have learned, I really think it's important that I continue to, you know, show women that we can collaborate together, not only just our, you know, our experiences and our expertise, but even financially and build these global empires together. Because you don't see a lot of women who look like me who are doing international business and especially in places like the Middle East. And so I just want to continue to, to show women that it is possible and that if you do it together, it's a lot easier. So Wendy, can you briefly tell um, our audience, especially the ladies out there, some of the challenges you encountered? Well, in the Middle East, because I, you know, when I first started, I definitely, I'm a woman. Um, and so it was a little hard to uh, start off doing training. That's what I was doing, training and development for the government as well as some of the royal family. And so probably 90% of that audience was men. And so at first they did not speak English to me at all. And they told me this, like, that's your first thing you're going to have to do is try to get them to trust you. And so just trying to build that trust, number one, being a woman, number two, um, I wasn't sure how they felt about African-American women. Um, but come to find out, once I built the trust, they actually supported me more than I knew that they would. And so my biggest challenge was really just gaining the trust and learning the culture. And so I had to travel. Um, I'm a mom, I'm a wife. There are a lot of women out here who say, you know what, I'm gonna wait till my kids go to school and to start my, my life and my journey. I started mine while I was actually in school. I mean, sorry, when my kids were in school and built this and I just continue to show you know other moms that you can do it. And so when they do go to school, you can have this life. And so trying to balance being a mom and a wife uh, was a struggle at first, but, but then I was able to get the hang of it. My last question for you, Wendy, um, and mm -hmm. I think this is, this is like the nugget that women need to take home. You mentioned trust and also learning the culture. Talk about how important that is, especially when you're trying to make a global imprint. It's so important. I've had some uh, prior clients um, who, were, uh, who weren't clients who came to me because they had been banned from different countries because of a mistake that they, of course, that we wouldn't probably seem deemed that would offend, uh, be offensive of anyone was actually offensive in this country. Um, it took about six or seven, almost seven years to get these certain individuals off of the banned list. And once you're banned, it's very hard to get back on and you lose contracts. And so 
understanding and learning the culture helps to always say culture before contract or you risk losing it because one of the things that will happen is that you can make the slightest mistake and sometimes they may or may not tell you what that is and you will lose the contract before you even get it. Culture before contract, that is tweetable. Wendy Alexander, thank you so much taking your business global and um, I pray thank you inspired you. our women listening to do the same thing. Thank you. Pleasure I having you. I appreciate you having me today. You too, thank you so much. Our pleasure.